You know the Herminator. We're going to do this right. We messed that up. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the greatest super late model dirt racers of all time. <laughs> the, only, the only race car driver on dirt to win $2 million in one year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Superman Jonathan Davenport. <laughs> all right, J.D. How's I, that for an intro? Hey, that was good. That well, was good. I told Johnny, I said, we screwed the pooch on that one. We're going to mix, we're going to mix, we didn't introduce <laughs> him properly. You know, you're in a situation right now that, first of all, how many dirt fans do we have out here? Okay, all the dirt fans tell me that they have a problem loving NASCAR. So, my, my question to you, JD, is tonight, is this a dream come true for you to run in the highest form of motorsports in America, NASCAR? Absolutely. Ever since I was just a, a little boy, you know, that, that was my direction. That's where I wanted to go was NASCAR. You know, that's, that's every, no matter if you're an asphalt racer or a dirt racer, I feel like when you're small moving up through the ranks, that, that's where you look at. And uh, that's where I wanted to go. That's where my mom and dad tried to uh, direct me towards going, but it just didn't work out for me until now. We, we finally got here. I took a long detour to get here, but uh, me and Joey Logano was just talking last night. We used to race against each other when we were kids every weekend, and um, our paths from then went totally different ways, but it all circled around, and we're all right here on Easter Sunday. All right. Uh, Justin, you got, you're part of a team that is – what is all is right with NASCAR? Uh, a team that started, a team that could, a team that had that belief and that dream, making the most of what you had. You've been there for a while now. What's it like to race with that group going out every week and having all that behind you? Yeah, it's obviously been cool. I mean, when I went to college racing, we had one Xfinity car. That was it, right? So been there for five years. We're dominant in the Xfinity series now. Chandler's kind of picked that up and taking it by the reins and has really been good and then obviously we're to three cup cars now and we got jonathan and um what i really want to hear about is that truck race tell us about the truck race i mean uh, what do you think of them truckers because they're a little wilder <laughs> than what are. you're going to deal with tonight it was uh it, i wouldn't say it was rough back there in the field but i was just trying to learn every lap yeah. i was just trying well to we know how them truckers are mistakes. he was loose yeah yeah. No, I was bad. Well, I would start out so tight, and then I would go extremely loose, like, in a lap and a half. Tell us know. about the difference between the, the truck and the cup car. Almost like my dirt late model to the truck is that much different than the cup car. It drives totally different. The, the truck almost felt like a like an old Buick with no shocks in the front, <laughs> and then it never moved in the back. So yeah, I and don't the cup know. car's it, planted. Yeah, the, the cup, cup car, you know, it doesn't really move front or back, and it's just kind of – it's really stable. It doesn't have a lot of grip, but it's still really stable. But it's just uh, awesome. It's 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 totally different getting used to the truck versus the cup car all in one weekend. But it's fun. It's exciting, and it's a hell of a challenge. Justin, you're 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 a great race car driver. I watch you at Volusia. Your family and you you love dirt racing. I watch you roll into speed weeks with your modified against a hundred of the best modified racers, and you ran really good this year. What what is your deal? With your dirt program outside of your NASCAR career, how many races are you going to run this year? Well, I'd like to do more. And I, I won so much because you weren't there, Kenny. <laughs> Kenny took a year off from Speed Whoa! Weeks, and I started winning. <laughs> so there was always that Kenny caution that came around and took me out of lead. But Stop it. No, I just try to. We're having fun. Yeah, every once in a while. <laughs> I just kind of put some fun money, you know. Yep. Every month I, I get the check, and I just put a little bit, and then. As much as I can take out of that to run the dirt cars, but but I don't I don't I sp it's all my own money to go dirt racing. It's all me, one thousand percent. So um, I do it as much as I can, but it's it's obvious you know how much money it takes. Yeah, and I want to make a comment <laughs> about this. So my brother Rusty Wallace, the great, I love him with all my life, and he looks at me and he'll say he says, "What are you run that old dirt car for?" Why you run that dirt car? And it's I, more like and that. Rusty, Rusty, <laughs> Rusty would say to me, he goes, seems to me if that left front tire was on the ground, you'd run a little better. <laughs> but, but what I want to say is this. The reason I went dirt racing, you know, the prelude to the dream, won that, Rayburn, give me a car. And I, and I stopped running my mod and I went to, uh, I stopped running the late model. But the reason I did it, because this is so stressful. I, I wanted to go dirt racing just to calm my, myself down. So when you go run your dirt car, 
Does it make you happy? It's tough. Um, you know, like when you go do the Hell Tour, you go up in the Midwest and you're at Fair Barrier somewhere, there's 120 cars, and you just want to make the show. Yeah. Like making the feature is tough. There's a lot of good mod guys up there in the Midwest, so I think it makes me better. I think truly, like I go to all them different tracks and you get hot laps, and that's usually qualifying, and, and then that's it. So I do it because it is fun, right? And after the races, we all sit open and uh, by the campfire and drink beer all night and talk yes. about how good we were and how we could have won that one, but we didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, it is fun, but, but it also makes me better. Yeah, J.D., Superman. I just like calling you Superman. That's just such a cool <laughs> name. So we, we know you're here fulfilling a dream. I'll, you know, I think what Christopher, Chris Rice and Collig are doing for you are incredible, but you're going to leave here tomorrow. And you're going you're gonna to head back to your, your super late model team. Are you running Lucas Oil? You're running, what are you running this year? What's your schedule look like? Because we know all eyes are always on you. What's, what's J.D. going to do this year? Oh, yeah. Th this year we did decide to go back and run a series. We're going to run the Lucas Oil Dirt Late Model Series. And um, actually, we, we might even run two other series. We haven't quite decided totally on that. This year we can actually run for three national championships and none of them overlap one another. So it's incredible. Uh, next week we'll be right back at Bulls Gap again for the, the XR series. They pay five thousand to win on Saturday and uh, or Friday, and a hundred thousand win on Saturday. So everybody come out and meet us there. Let's start out with you, Justin. What did you think when NASCAR said we're going to put dirt on Bristol and go dirt racing? That's crazy, right? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I. I went straight to the back yesterday, so I don't have much to say. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely different. It's uh, – I feel like Jonathan has a little bit better feel for what the track is. He went out late in a heat race. I was the first heat race. So, um, look like our cars are set up the same, but my car was – or my heat race, it was pretty wet and tacky. His was a little drier and slicker. So, um, he looked good. I, I really didn't look like I knew what I was doing, but uh, Jonathan does this for a living. Guys, thank you so much. Really looking forward to watching Thanks you guys practice us. your yeah, craft tonight. You Justin Jonathan, thank you very much. Good luck, guys.